Hey everyone, it's Char from Char's Fashion Nation, and this is going out to YouTube and Instagram at the same exact time. Oh my gosh, I really have to thank the ladies at Fabric Mart. Yes, Fabric Mart, in which I have ordered some new fabrics and um some and don't come at me for this because this is for a brand new regalia i'm going to make my first set of moccasins so i did order two sets of ralph lauren yes that is correct ralph lauren goat hides ralph lauren goat hides no, it's not satanic. It gets goat hides. Um, so, huh. I'm still having to deal with the cyber issue. And so they went as far as trying to change my address. Right? The cyber issue. Um, they tried to change my address for a uh, fabric mart to ship to and you know like you get that little something like something's not right and so you get to check something and you know you find out that these idiots that are giving you the cyber issue changes your address for fabric mart so the ladies at fabric mart were so very kind about the simple fact that I had gone ahead and re-edited. I told her that I had re-edited before she got on the phone. Uh, the younger lady that works there, she uh, answered the phone. She's nice, too. Um, and she handed the phone over to the other lady um, you know, to handle the situation, which is great because they handled it just perfect. It's like Death Wish copy. Uh, Y'all were perfect today, too. I have to appreciate you guys. I really do. Um, so, I can't wait to show you what I'm getting from Fabric Mart. I was going to, like, kind of keep this on, on the back burner. So, um, yeah. So, uh, I'll be doing, uh, showing that this week. They said they'll get my order if it's not off today. Day, they'll get my order out tomorrow which means it'll just be here by sometime this week no I'm not too worried about it um, they were just very very nice um, I told them you know I've seen Angela Clayton go to Fabric Mart but if you want a really good inexpensive place to order your fabrics from and they have really quality fabric I can tell you this firsthand. I own some of the Fabric Mart fabric. And I have, well, I can't say I have yet to use it. No, I have used the black broadcloth, which I'm also going to be using for my um, brand new corset because it's a good, sturdy fabric. And will be good for that. It has a little bit of stretch to it, just the way I need. Um, and so I will be cutting it correctly. I already have like that all chalk marked out, you know, with the uh, Taylor's chalk. I have two different colors of Taylor's chalk. If you guys ever noticed on YouTube, I have a blue Taylor's chalk and a white Taylor's chalk. Having different colors of Taylor's chalk is absolutely the best thing you can do when you're sewing and creating and it just dusts right off. Um, and then you don't have to worry about, you know, like washing out the marker. Even though I do know that there's a new marker out, a new fabric marker, that the minute you uh, run the iron over it, I might look into it sometime. The minute you run the fabric, I um, fabric, the iron over it, um, it literally makes that ink vanish. So I think that's very cool like 
<laughs> Who the heck wouldn't want that, right? Like, you've already got that seam allowance pinned over, but you want to get rid of that marker. And you just take the iron over it, and it disappears. So, I might see about checking that out and seeing who actually sells them. I'm not a... Don't hate me for this. I don't shop at Joann's. <laughs> I'll shop Fabric Mart. Don't get me wrong. Like, I just ordered some, like, some really nice swimsuit fabric from them because I, I want to do a challenge amongst the sewing community um, for, like, 1800s to 19... 20s vintage style swimsuits and you know I I just think that would be really cool I really do because you can either make it for men or women or a unisex one um and it doesn't matter it doesn't matter hey isn't that what we have our uh dress forms for yeah that's what we have our dress forms for <laughs> right um, our dress form suit as well. I actually have to resize Manny Quinn. That's his name if you haven't heard that before. So, that is Manny Quinn. Manny Quinn is a haunted <laughs> dress form. That thing has moved on multiple occasions by itself. Just like turning itself and scooting forward a little bit. No joke. I actually have videos like towards Halloween. I know you might think that was a Halloween thing. Maybe somebody had a string. Absolutely not. Um, because I was home by myself when it happened. <laughs> Imagine how creepy that is. Anyway, um, like I said, I really have to thank Fabric Mart for your kindness, and I really appreciate you. Also appreciate Death Wish Coffee today. Oh my gosh, you're going to make my month better. Oh, you guys don't know. It so helps my neurological disorders, uh, my epilepsy, and then I have neurological disorders in my legs um, and my spine. So, um, it really helps to calm down those nerves. I drink for medical purposes now. <laughs> oh, thank you, Death Wish and Fabric Mart. So that'll basically be the caption for this video of thanking them. Um, and anybody else out there that made my day like run a little smoother, thank you. Um, I do have to resend an email to someone, yeah, because I forgot to put in the subject matter. I was having a Monday this morning. I guess the death wish didn't set in good enough. <laughs> oh, not this morning it didn't. I was like, oh, it's a Monday. Why? I have to agree with someone else. Who was it that said Monday should not exist? <laughs> I have to agree with you. Uh, oh, wait, you know, it was giggles, giggles, I believe, that said Monday should not exist. You're right, Kickles. Monday should not exist. <laughs> I have to agree with that. So anyway, guys, um, I have a lot of things to finish up. Um, one of them would be, yes, this is my Death Wish Coffee Backpack. I don't really care what I look like right now. I know I look a mess. Um, I'm knitting. I've just been such a knitty person. Uh, I think I may have showed this in the last one I did. I'm not sure. I've been tired lately. I really have. Yeah, I think I did. Anyway, been working on bath mitts. That's bath mitt. Bleh. Bath mitt. So, it's for left or right-handed people. See, now, I make this for left or right-handed people. It doesn't matter. That's why the thumb is the way it is. Yeah, so, it's made for either your left or your right. 
So you injure your right hand and that's your dominant hand, right? You can use it on your left or the other way around. And there's a matching washcloth. And I'm looking, I'm like, did I drop a stitch? And I'm like, nah, maybe. Oh, maybe right there. But you can't tell on this side. So we'll count this as the back side and this is the front. <laughs> Yeah, because you can't tell on the front. Oh my gosh, isn't that weird? That's weird. Um, but anyway, yeah, we'll count this as the front of the washcloth and this is the back. So this is like samples for Sin City soaps and candles. Look forward to that collaboration with them soon. Um, love them. They have beautiful things. Always use my promo code shars nation 10 to get 20 percent off your entire purchase yes shars nation 10. it is a non-expiration discount code yep and they have butamus product look forward to a new review of Something coming up. <laughs> Just trying to make my Monday a little bit better. I love that in my hair. <laughs> uh, but, so, everybody out there, stay happy. Stay healthy. Stay positive, And as always, stay blessed. And I will see you. Next time I'm on, actually. Have a blessed Monday and a blessed rest of your week.